It is an absolutely beautiful morning this morning. Very cold, our pipes froze, um, everyone on the road. Um, I know the conventional wisdom is to leave a little bit of water dripping in the sink, but the way the water system is set up here, um, it, you can't do that, it, do, it just doesn't work. I am getting a tank put in, which will eliminate that problem, I think. But uh, we did get our, uh, our water back as the uh, sun started to come out, so that's, that's always a good thing. <laughs> As you may or may not know, I've been working in the home health care uh, field for the last couple of years, and I've retired um, from that as of last December, or so about three weeks ago was my last date, and like all my other retirements, um, it didn't last very long. <laughs> right after I retired, like maybe 10 days after I retired, the gal who took my place was diagnosed. Um, she tested positive for coronavirus and actually got very, very sick. So I came in and the client was fine, never got it. I tested her every day. Um, so I ended up working like 11 days straight. Um, she's just a wonderful lady and I was happy to do it and happy to help the other caregiver. But I think now maybe I'm retired now. I finished on last Friday, the caregiver's better and maybe now this is it. <laughs> so as you may remember from my, my Christmas basket um, video, I had done her and her friend a little Christmas gift to her. I, I had bought her a little plate, one of my hauls, a Merry Christmas plate, and uh, I'd filled it with Butterfingers, which is her absolute favorite candy, and presented that to her right before Christmas, and she was delighted. And for her friend, I'd gotten him one of those little uh, jars, of, like I think they're apothecary jars at Dollar Tree. And boy, if you ever see jars like this at Dollar Tree, pick them up. They hold, held a lot. And uh, the closure was really nice. They were worth more than $1.25, I think. I saw a couple still left at uh, my Dollar Tree. But I digress. <laughs> so I got him one of those and I filled it up with some Oreo cookies and some treats like that. And he really liked it too. So when I came back to work after my uh, two-week retirement, <laughs> I saw that her Christmas plate was all done. It was put away in the cabinet. And down, I went downstairs in the kitchen and I saw that his um, little apothecary jar was completely empty. No, it had one Oreo cookie left in it. And um, I thought, well, maybe I should do a little January refill. So on one of my work days, I got up really early. I went to the freezer in the dark and all that stuff. And I'd had some, um, a container of cookie dough that I'd made, that pumpkin spice cookie dough with chocolate chips that I just had ran out of time to make them. So I had just put them in the in the freezer. So I pulled those out and uh, warmed up the oven to 350 and got started. I let the cookie dough thaw for maybe half an hour. And I'm telling you, I had such great results with using this partially frozen cookie dough. I'm, I think I might do it now all the time. I worked, I started by working around the edges and I made small cookies like a teaspoon um, size. And I worked around the edges and kept putting them on um, cookie sheets with parchment paper and they baked beautifully. Um, the bottom was not burned or undercooked or overcooked and the inside was perfect. I, I don't know, it was just a really great experience. I ended up making, I, I think it came out to about 80 cookies. So I brought some to her and I brought some to him and I filled up her little plate. She has a dessert plate where she gets these meals on wheels and she always likes the dessert. So I would take the dessert out, put it on a plate Sometimes she'd have a couple different desserts there and then take the rest of her meal out and put it on a, a plate also because it comes in these little cardboard um, like TV dinner type things. But I'd take it out, put it on another plate, cover it with saran wrap so she could put it in the microwave. I thought it was more appetizing that way. So I took out the Christmas plate and I told her, this is your dessert plate now and put all the desserts or whatever she had that day and threw in some cookies and uh, you know covered it with saran wrap. I did the same thing downstairs. I took uh, the cookies downstairs and I filled up his little apothecary jar and uh, left him a little note. Let me tell you, it's really nice to get presents in December and little treats in December. It's even nicer in January. <laughs> they both loved it and finished them all up. And I will be seeing her again in about a week and a half. I said I'd come by to visit. So I will definitely be bringing more, more cookies for both of them because they, they both, both finished their cookies. Being able to bake and cook is like the greatest thing. And it doesn't have to be fancy. This was from a, 
a cookie mix that I got at grocery outlet and it just has brought in so much happiness. Um, and you don't have to just give presents at Christmas either. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.